What's up guys, so today I'm going to be doing my review of Yoshi's Woolly World and the game's been out for about a month now but I wanted to play through a lot of the game to get the full experience of the game before I did my review. So I've just completed World 3 so I'm exactly halfway through the game. And before I start the review I just want to say how cute and adorable the game is, oh my gosh. All of the levels are made of yarn and so is Yoshi and most of the enemies as well and I love how Yoshi moves and interacts throughout the game. So not to spoil too much of the story but basically Kamek comes and turns all of the Yoshis into yarn bundles and then he spreads them throughout all of the worlds and your aim of the game is basically to collect all the bundles to piece the Yoshis back together. So the basic layout of the game is pretty similar to all the other Yoshi games where there are 8 levels per world with 2 castle levels. I like this because it's something we're used to from the previous games. Also in each level you collect the 5 flowers like normal and you also have your health bar but this time it is 20 hearts instead of 30 stars. You also collect 20 stamps, which basically replace the 20 red coins. And you also collect the five yarn bundles per level, which I think is really cool because it adds another layer to each level, which I think makes the game a little bit more challenging. Also, if you collect all five bundles within one level, at the end of that level, it will piece together to make a new themed Yoshi, which you can then play as whenever you like during the game. So onto the levels, the first couple of levels are pretty straightforward and they're basically a tutorial for the game. But then even by level three or four, it gets a bit challenging in some places. And the boss in World 1 level four is of course Bert the Bashful. And I love how they brought back a lot of the bosses and enemies and different characters, including Poochie as well, which I really enjoy. So I have to say in terms of playing through the levels, it is very much like what you heard online and stuff. It is really hard to get 100% on every level. I mean, sometimes you do get all items on your first playthrough, but otherwise it is quite challenging. And I really like this because it means you get to go back and redo the levels and explore different areas that you might not have seen the first time around. Something which I also really love is how on boss levels specifically, if you have 20 hearts by the end of the level and you know you're gonna get 100% and then it makes the boss battle even that much harder because you don't want to get hit even once and this is something that I really love from the original Yoshi's Island as well and it just makes the game a little bit more challenging and so much more fun. In terms of the other bosses as well it's really fun that they've introduced new characters and new bosses and it's fun to try and work out how to battle them and defeat them for the first time. I also have to say that World 3 for me is probably the best world that I've done so far in the game. I don't think there's a level that I don't actually like on it. The castle level was pretty cool, I loved the rainbow level, there was the cave level which I was kind of going around in circles thinking wow I didn't realise you could go this way or that way and discover different items and stuff. I also love on the level where you get to transform into the plane and fire the torpedoes, that was so much fun. Speaking of which, yeah you also get to transform into different items like an umbrella and different things on certain levels to help you get to the next stage of the level which is really fun and I definitely hope to see more of that as I play through the rest of the game. So onto the amiibo as well, I haven't actually got around to tapping in any of my current Smash Brothers amiibo to get the new skins of the Yoshis. I also got the three Yarn Yoshi amiibo and they are so adorable, oh my gosh. Um, I'll show you them really quickly actually because I haven't actually opened them yet. So here's the green one and the blue one. and the pink one and oh my gosh they just look so cute I can't believe I actually got them as well because they were really hard to get yes. but overall I just think this game is so cute I love the yarn theme I love even just how the eggs are little yarn balls instead and if you fire them at the piranha plant it wraps around their mouth and they kind of chomp at you and also the chain chomp balls how you get to fire the yarn at them and then take it off again it's just so much fun I love how you got like the little bits of yarn balls hanging off the wall so that's kind of like a hint as to a secret area to go to. I really just can't wait to play through the rest of the game. It looks like so much fun and then obviously go back and do the levels again to try and get 100% and I think there's also a secret extra level on each world as well. Also for you guys in America, I'm sorry that the game hasn't even been released yet. It's still a couple of months away but I guarantee you will really enjoy this if you've liked any of the other Yoshi games and even if you haven't as well. It's just so much fun, so cute and you'll really enjoy it and I would definitely recommend getting the Yarn Yoshi Amiibos as well because they are so adorable. Adorable. But yeah, I probably scored about 8.5 to a 9 because I really do think it is up there. Yahoo! Okay guys, so after I filmed this video, I decided to open the Yarn Yoshi Amiibos and I'm so glad I did look at them. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Look at them, they're like a little family. Oh, I can't wait to use them in the game. They just look so cute. I would definitely recommend that you get these. Look at them. Wow. 
But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this review and it maybe helped you decide whether to get the game or not. I would definitely recommend that you get the game and definitely get these Yarn Yoshi Amiibo as well. So give this video a thumbs up if you think these are so adorable and I'll see you guys next time.